Hello, I've been working on a few rock faces and uh, there's a few little tips that I'd like to share with you. So I just do a, a, a quick tips tutorial here. Nice quick. First tip. First tip is just, instead of using two sheets of paper, one on top of the other for the wall, I get one sheet, quickly double it over so that I have a crease halfway across there. Then with my glue, which is 50-50 water to um, PVA glue, the white Bilmer's glue, what do you call it in Spanish. Then when you double it, you've immediately got a crease. So that now you've got something like this. And then as it's doubled over like that, you can now just quickly plonk that in in this fish scale fashion, one after the other. So they go clunk clunk clunk. So you've got about a half a page gap. It's just quicker using one sheet, double it over and then plonk it on. It's just a bit quicker. The next one is your borders. Get a sheet of paper and tear it down the middle so you've got half a sheet of paper. Do the same if you can fold along there. Because you want to, on the edges of your panels that you're going to do, these are generic rocks, it's nice to be able to put a, a reinforcing right round the edge so that it's a little bit thicker than one or two sheets so that it's a little bit stronger round the edges. Now the next tip are corners. When you're going to hang this thing up, well how do you attach it? You can get a piece of wire and put it here, just square, or you can get another piece of wire, bend it over, twist it round so that you make a loop like that and then like this with a bit of paper and that will give it some reinforcing and it will give you something a bit better to attach your, um, your panel to other scenery to a wall to your whatever you're going to be doing. Put a couple of layers on that now you can tie a piece of string to that and it will now hold it. For example, here we have a corner piece going up a piece of string to the door. So you can do that. Next tip is sometimes when you've got these borders here and you want them to stay nice and tight and don't want them to stretch or deform, put a piece of cardboard in there with the profile of the edge and paint that um, with paper and then paint it so that it stays put. Now something to look out for is that when you paint it, you'll find these edges that don't get quite enough paper um, glue on them. They come up with little white lines. So just peel them back, get yourself a brush with some, with some glue on, and then put it back in there so that it's nice and flat. flat. Now there are some places where you will get um, lines of the paper that are unavoidable, like this one. You can actually use those to your advantage by getting some paint and then using them to make some cracks and things so that it, they actually become part of the rock face rather than being an obvious paper edge. And last of all for this quick tutorial, I'll show you some texture. Now this panel here is just a generic hang it up type one just to fill in a blank but we can here it's just straight paper and the occasional bits of texture as we've shown in other tutorials but up on this here we can make it look like dirt or whatever. Place your panel on the floor so that now we're going to get your glue and your brush then take your glue and put a generous amount of glue on there and then get some nice rough sawdust and sprinkle a little bit of that on because that is basically what's going to give us some texture. Then get a paper towel, a napkin, one ply, place that on top and then with your brush you want to it in there so that it's going to now trap the sawdust 
between it or sandwich it and glue with the glue that you put on there. And you can do just one layer like this or you can do several layers applying a little bit more sawdust each time to get a little bit more rough texture. Let that dry. Then of course we do the usual painting of a dark colour first. And then with a lighter mid-tone, lightly go over that. And then with a lighter coat, do some dry brushing just to bring that texture out. So now when we hang it up, get a texture that's fairly interesting.